Stefan Bajetic ready for next Liverpool move. Five talents may follow in 2024. It has been a successful year for Liverpool's young players. Jurgen Klopp, always eager to showcase the most promising talents, has heavily relied on the academy for his evolving 2.0 team. The standout performer in 2023 appears to be Curtis Jones, who, after years of threatening to break into the first team, has finally embraced the responsibility, making Trent Alexander-Arnold's The Scouser in Our Team chant somewhat outdated. Despite facing increased competition following the summer rebuild, Jones remains a crucial part of the team, rising to the challenge presented by players like Ryan Gravenberch and Dominic Soboslai. Similarly, Harvey Elliott has established himself as a super sub, adapting to the revamped Liverpool midfield. With these young talents in pivotal roles, the question arises, who could be the next to join them as regulars in Klopp's lineup? Bobby Clark, Matt Addison. The clear choice would be Ben Doak, and I'm particularly eager to see Kaidi Gordon again. However, my preference is for Bobby Clark. He embodies the type of silky, skillful midfielder I enjoy watching, with his balance and poise making him an excellent fit as an attacking number eight. Breaking into the Liverpool midfield is challenging, and a loan deal could be beneficial, but Clark remains one to keep an eye on. His recent contract extension suggests confidence in his potential, but a loan stint might also prove advantageous. Luke Chambers falls into a similar category, highly talented, and being a left-footed defender, a quality Liverpool might currently lack. A year ago, I would have considered him ahead of Jarrell Kwanzaa in terms of development, indicating Chambers' potential. Additionally, there are even younger prospects worth monitoring. Centre-back Amara Nalo, midfielder Trey Nioni, and forward Jaden Dans. All three should be setting their sights on U21's football and training with the senior team. Jarrell Kwanzaa, James Martin. All right, so this one is on the verge of being considered cheating. Arguably, Kwanzaa has already experienced a breakthrough. However, if circumstances have aligned to grant him playing time so far, with a relatively limited pool of centre-backs that includes many prone to injuries, 2024 could be the year when Kwanzaa demonstrates that he is here to stay. We haven't heard much about Rhys Williams or even Nat Phillips lately, and the 20-year-old will be eager to prove that he is not following in their footsteps. Unlike those two who were heroic in 2021, Kwanzaa seems like a natural fit for Liverpool's preferred style of play. While Phillips and Williams could step up when Klopp tightened the defence to secure Champions League qualification, the recent academy graduate is forward-thinking and proactive. An answer that may seem obvious, but let's not overlook Stefan Bajetic, James Findlater. As we enter the second half, which is also the most crucial phase of the season, opportunities for some of the club's young talents may become scarcer. However, there is one player who has proven that he deserves a place in the senior squad. I am referring, of course, to Jarrell Kwanzaa. It might be the straightforward answer, but it's likely the correct one as well. Among all the young talents available to Jurgen Klopp, the 20-year-old appears to be the most advanced in his development. He already exudes the professionalism of a senior player and seems comfortable in the Premier League. Although it might not be accurate to predict a breakout, considering that happened last season, it would be exciting to witness Stefan Bajetic back in a Liverpool jersey soon. He was unfortunate to be sidelined by injury last term, but he has already displayed all the signs of becoming an excellent midfield option.